Today I'm going to talk about the mathematical properties of a kite. So the first thing about a kite then is that it has four sides. So a kite is a quadrilateral. Now these two sides here are equal in length and also the top two sides are also equal in length. So a kite has two pairs of equal side lengths. Let's look at the angles now. Um, now if we look at this angle and this angle here, these two angles are the same. Um, the other two angles are not the same. So we can say it has one pair of equal angles. So let's look at the lines of reflectional symmetry on the kite. Um, so you should be able to see then that the line of symmetry on a kite is down the middle. So it's here. So let's draw that line of symmetry in. So it's only got one line of reflectional symmetry. So let's look at the rotational symmetry now of the kite. Well, if you get a bit, bit of tracing paper, you'll find that you won't be able to turn it around onto itself in a full turn. So a kite wouldn't have rotational symmetry. So it has no rotational symmetry. Uh, if you want the order, this will be order 1. Order 1 means it doesn't have rotational symmetry. Um, let's do one final property then of a kite. Let's draw the diagonals on the kite shape. So the diagonals go from corner to corner. So as you can see, if we draw the diagonals in, you can see they bisect each other at right angles. So the diagonals bisect at right angles. 